Hi, my name is Gareth Foley with FCP, and today I'm going to be taking you through the steps on how to replace a fuel pump in a 2000 BMW 528i. The same process would apply for a lot of different BMWs, so follow along with me and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing I have to have to do is remove the back seat from the car. What you're going to do is you're going to grab the seat by the corner here and you're going to pull up. You're going to hear a pop that's totally normal, that's just the clip releasing. And the same thing on this side, just give it one firm tug. And then pull out. Next thing I have to do is remove the seat back. Uh, the headrests are going to be in the way, so... And with the rear seats, what you're going to basically do is you're going to lift up. There's these little hooks on the back that slide in, so... You're gonna lift up and that will release them. The fuel pump on this vehicle is essentially located under here. It's on the passenger side of most BMWs and uh, the way that you're gonna have to get this is there's basically some soundproofing material here. Uh, you're gonna have to cut through it in order to release it. But that will give you direct access to the fuel pump and I'll show you how to remove that now. There's three Phillips head screws that hold this top plate onto the uh, chassis. Uh, this is basically the access panel to get into the fuel tank. So we're gonna release those screws now. You can see this is the electrical connector going in. Uh, this is actually very dusty. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean out all of this dust from the inside here with basically soap and water. I don't want any of this dust dropping into the fuel tank, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that up right now. It's a good idea to disconnect the uh, ground from the battery at this point if you haven't done so already. Uh, anytime you're removing any kind of electrical connector or something like that, you just want to play it safe. Make sure that there's no charge inside the vehicle, especially when you're working around the fuel tank. For this uh, electrical connector, you're going to basically pull back on it and lift up. Next thing you have to do is uh, remove this hose clamp right here. There could be some pressure in the line still, uh, so just be careful as you're pulling it off. Have a container right by just in case. Um, so I'm going to pull this off. Now this is the part where you need to get a lot of shop rags because this is where you're going to pull out the fuel pump assembly. Uh, you have the sending unit on the top and the fuel pump sits further down. Uh, so you're going to need a lot of shop rags to not drop any fuel inside the car. So we'll do that now. Alright, you'll see these little ridges. Or these little bumps on the uh, cap. You're basically going to take a flathead screwdriver, put it against it, a dead blow. And then start should start coming up. There we go. I'm gonna get rid of this gasket. This will be replaced. This is the sending unit. So this is basically what reads your gas gauge. Now looking down inside the tank, the fuel pump is basically held in with two metal tabs. You'll see a tab here and then a tab on the opposing side. You're gonna depress those tabs and you'll be able to lift the whole pump assembly out in one piece. I'm just gonna let some fuel drain. All right, so here's the whole fuel pump out of the car. We do have to swap some stuff over, mainly 
the entire sending unit, a couple of electrical connectors. We'll have to zip tie a couple things together. Uh, but I'm gonna take this over and out. So here's the fuel pump. Uh, we have to remove the hose that comes off the pump and these two electrical connectors. Uh, there's a little hose clamp right here we're gonna have to release. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the hose clamps as I don't wanna pull on the electrical connectors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reassemble the fuel pump assembly. So take the new hose, we're gonna put it on. It's gonna be a little tight. This new hose is not going on very easily, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of white lithium grease on it to help lubricate it. Now I have to rewire. I'm gonna go ahead and put some new zip ties onto the fuel line so the fuel pump wires are secured properly. Now the real question is how do you determine uh, which wire is which? Um, on the new fuel pump you see a positive and negative terminal. It just happens to be that this is wrapped in such a way where they only go on one way, but the darker wire is going to be the ground, the lighter wire is going to be the is going to be the power. All right, see this is the housing for the fuel pump. Essentially, that's what the fuel pump is sliding into, and then the leveling arm kind of shoots off that way. So uh, the fuel pump has to go in first. Once again, you're going to depress the plastic tabs, try to slide it into place. Once it locks, it locks. easiest way to get the sending unit in is to have the arm face the front of the car so essentially to your right now the sending unit itself is supposed to actually face this way but what we're gonna do so I'm gonna get the hose in there first tuck it in all right so I'm gonna have the arm facing the front of the car. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first get the hose in there. And I'm going to rotate it clockwise so that this tab eventually seats here and the arm will be facing here. And you'll kind of just feel it fall into place. Now there is some tension from the spring, but don't worry about that. What you have to do is you need to reinstall the new seal. It clearly says here on the bottom that this side is going to face down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it over the entire unit here like this, pre-seat the ring against the opening of the fuel tank. It'll basically kind of fit right into place and then you'll be able to push the top down. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the unit. You'll feel it kind of slide into place the way it should. And then you're going to want to push down to seat the entire fuel assembly. Once it stops moving, you know it's fully seated and you know it's secure. So we can go ahead with reinstallation of the fuse, uh, the fuel hose, as well as the electrical components. 
All right, with the electrical connector uh, ready to be installed, simply slide over and lock into place. The sliding mechanism will make sure that it's secured fully, so don't worry about it. Alright, now comes time to reassemble the interior. Essentially, the reversal. And that's how you install a fuel pump on a 2000 BMW 528i. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 877-634-0063. Thanks for watching.